job. Oh no! It's a fainting goat. Did you faint? Oh, good morning, babies. Feeder wagon. First calf heifers and a couple calves. Figuring out life. Hey, it's your girl Andrea with some windy crazy hair, but a new calf just made its arrival. Nothing like being dropped on your head, huh? <laughs> that is my least favorite way for a cow to calf. And she was laying down and then she was like, nah, I'm gonna stand up and drop him on his head all the time. Drives me nuts, but woo! Uh, we are going to take down the other section of wire. Um, I made sure she was good to go finish up chores quick and dad is unhooking all of the um, fence posts, all the insulators off the wire, that way we can pull it. And then I think there's a section of barbed wire he wants to do too. It's kind of windy today. Welcome to life in the Midwest. But we had one calf early this morning, 780, one of my favorite calves of all time, and then 10 just calved. So we'll see. I'm also on night duty tonight, so. Yeehaw! <laughs> How many dogs is too many dogs? <laughs> Ness, you ready? <laughs> Let's go! Remember how non-straight those posts were in that one video? Yep, they still look just as bad, so that's fun. Not it. So I gotta go start looking in. Wait, dad in the middle of this wire somewhere over here. The wire is done. Um, galvanized wire. Anyway, it's just this straight flat wire. I don't need a regular wire. Now we're gonna, dad's gonna grab a rim, I guess, and see if we can wrap up this barbed wire. It's just starting to get old. So this just needs to be out of here so we can get it in the field and plant in like a month ish, maybe. Um, so. Me and my crazy hair are gonna take all of it. Insulators, um, unhook them, and then see if we can get this wrapped up. <laughs> Watch your face, too. So. Get stabbed in the eye, the hand, anywhere. It's not pretty. I mean, she's good, decent, but. Okay, we're gonna take all the posts out now, too. Yeehaw! What a time. Right. Pick up our stuff, kids. Thanks for sure. Um, definitely gonna get my steps in today. <laughs> There's that. So we got. Yeah, we got a lot of posts to take out. But we'll pop them up with the bucket. I'll throw them in the bucket. We'll dump the bucket of T-posts. Go get more. Do the fun shenanigan. 
So, but dad did bring me gloves, so he does love me. I also really liked his weight on the end of the barbed wire. Although it was good, because then it wasn't like flying around at the end. They just got a little too full for the rim, to be honest, but we made it, so. Hey, what you doing? Doop. Your ears are trying to stand up in the wind. <laughs> You're a real healer, Ness. <laughs> and the chariot is making its way. I gotta give him all this junk so I don't lose it. Otherwise, I'll end up forgetting it somewhere. But here it comes. What a nice, straight line. Beautiful. Well, we made it back <laughs> by the manure pile and the barn. Um, there's another row of posts that goes that way, and then some way on the end going east and west. So, but the bucket is getting kind of full, and I think he wants to take a little lunch break. So. I also need to check the bar. It's good timing. Back out we are, way away from the house. This fence line needs to be redone, but someday. dry right here too. We need some moisture. I mean the ground itself has some moisture yet but not great for this time of year. Don't like seeing this. It's the last one. Last one wants to be difficult. Ta-da! <laughs> and I gotta cut plastic. Then move some tires before all the wind comes back again. One of those like never ending things with the wind that being so flat here. Um, but the pile has been a lot better. We're running north and south and then east and west, if you remember that conversation. For when we chop silage, we used to always run the pile this way. So it was like straight up. Ooh. He's cheating. No, I need more friction power. <laughs> I cut it along the seam. It's not that hard. You just gotta rip that and then I cut that. Here he is trying to do it with the bucket. <laughs> not working. Got plastic cut. That one didn't look so good right here, but whatever. Um, cut off the earlidge, dab it, and then we're cleaning up this dirt rotten feed mix right here. My salad pile is disappearing. Makes me kind of sad. It's so hard to know if you're going to have enough too, so. Ugh. Woo! It's a rest day for my real workouts. And then here's another workout, but she's pretty, uh, Cleaned up that pallet dirt in between two. Got a bunch of tires moved into the chaotic house over here. Got plastic. Dad's holding the plastic over to put it in the shed so it doesn't blow away. Yeah, there's a little bit of moisture under the rotten silage and such. And then mom just texts me 
that we have two cows calving in the same pen. So they are starting to get busy and she's watching them. I see one of them is a second cat right now. One's a seven year old cow. Walked away for like four seconds and here she is. Good girl. And behind 411 right here, right there, is also gonna catch. She's being really impatient. And this one is getting up. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Look at that baby. You're doing great. Who's next? <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> I know, good job. When I told you that mom was getting a big old pile of corn. <laughs> Jeez. There's a little bit of a row that didn't go through the combine, but we now have snacks to make friends with the cows. We got three babies in the past like four hours. Let's keep it going. <laughs> it's actually four. I was wrong. Four. One kid secured. The other new kid is right there. We gotta make sure we don't get Dad's gonna pet. This is why I'm securing kids if you want to. Just gonna make sure they're all well. Good. You're okay. There we go. Happy, happy. Oh no! It's a fainting goat. Did you faint? What the heck, bubbies? Yeah, I know. It's a hard life. Oh, and we did it again. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> That was a good one. You're gonna prove that you're alive and well because that was pretty dramatic. He's a bottom baby. We only have three going home probably this weekend. Three, these two are sold going together. I'm keeping that female. And these are the only two we have here plus two of my grandmas that are still for sale. So if any of you are looking for goats, these two are both intact males. Could be weathered if you want. And then these two are going to a home together too. Hi kids. It's not bottle time yet. I'll be back later. Oh. So mama that we induced looks like she's kind of starting the process. So she'll calf when I'm on watch tonight. Likely she's drinking water right now. But she's definitely showing some signs. Tail swishing, being a little more guarded, all that jazz. <coughs> so we'll see. She got really excited when the one twin walked at her, so hopefully she's got a baby in the next little while. All right, so that was today's shenanigans. Um, I'm on night shift duty tonight, so you'll probably see another vlog coming with that fun, but we'll cut her off here. That way it's a nice bite-sized piece to watch. But if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Find me on other social media platforms. Some of you have figured out to stay a little more up to date, if you watch my Instagram stories or TikTok, you kind of get to know what's going on before you see the vlog, just because it takes me a bit to get them edited and I go like to be a little more ahead of things in case things get chaotic, because we all know that it happens with farm life. But otherwise, we'll see you next time. I have a feeling it's gonna be really busy tonight, so.